Welcome to Gardening Hacks and welcome to our first video. Just wanted to make some quick and simple videos to show y'all how I do stuff in my garden and maybe it'll help somebody be able to start their own garden. These are some old culverts that were cut off from new culverts that we had left over from a job and my husband got them and brought them home. We cut them down into sections and used them to plant gardens in. And show y'all how the process goes. I hope I'm not moving the camera too fast to make anybody nauseous. Okay, here's the beginning of it. I take the culvert sections and put them where I want them in the garden space. And then first of all, I use it for a compost bin when I'm trimming off other things in the garden. I'll throw all the scraps in here to make a bottom layer. You can put cardboard down first if you want it. This one didn't get done that way. Now it's going to be ready for me to take cardboard and line on top of all the compost I have in there. So we'll just take some of this cardboard, which got rained on, so it's already pre-moistened for me. And we'll take it and we'll do a line all the way around the inside of this bed to keep weeds from popping up from the bottom. And then I'll put some more compost on top of it. And then I'll start filling it up with my soil. And then we go to the next bed that I just got done. And this bed's been filled up with the soil. And this one, we were able to find a local nursery center that had topsoil that you could buy by the tractor scoop. So we bought up a trailer load of that for the garden. And we mixed that with some peat moss. And it was kind of a sandy mixture anyway, so we put peat moss in with it. Then the pipe in the middle is what I use for a deep draining system, which I'll do another video on those. But it's basically a pipe that holds water in it in the middle of it. It's got some, you can see right there, one of the little drainage holes. About halfway down, I start getting drilling holes in the pipe to where the water can come out and the bottom of it is open. It makes it to where you can fill that up and it gets to the soil better to water it more deeply with less water. It really helps when you get droughts and don't have enough rain going on to get your water into that down farther in for your root system to grow better. And then we just plant around it. And there's deep water and things, the worms like them too. This one is not full of dirt. But there is dirt down on the bottom so the words could come up and down a lot of people you can chop up little pieces of compost and put them in there and feed your worms to attract more worms to your beds at the same time then this is the bed that we did last year the same way i think it's got some kale that i planted in the fall but it's just it just in january it started growing and then the little one was planted at the same time and it's just now starting to try to do something we'll see if it has time to do anything for the weather it's too hot for it and it's got some dwarf rainbow strawberry uh, tomatoes all up in it so we'll see how they do but it seems to be a pretty easy way to keep everything watered good and if you can find the materials for cheap or free if somebody's getting rid of or left over from job it's a very inexpensive way to get some garden beds going thanks for watching y'all have a great day